Hello guys, it's Sharif here with Engadget. We're looking at a board which has the next generation of audio chip from Wolfson, the 5110. And it does something a bit different, and I'm joined by Nick from Wolfson. Hello Sharif. Hello, and you can show us what this does differently in terms of um, playing high um, sample frequency music. Sure, um, so what we've got here is uh, an Arcam DAC. Uh, this uh, DAC uses our WM51, it uses our WM8740. Actually uses two of them, dual differential mode. Uh, and this could be plugged into your laptop. Uh, through USB, it can actually take a 192K uh, sample audio stream. Um, so this would be a high definition audio, 24 bit, 192K. Um, we've also got here uh, Cambridge Audio DAC, and again, that could take us 192K. So we could actually use this as a DAC, but instead we're actually using this as a source to drive our 5110 device. So you can actually see here that we've got uh, a 192K sample uh, signal coming in through here. We've then got that coming out as a, as a digital signal, and then we're doing the digital to analog conversion inside the, the 5110 and then playing that back through these speakers. So that means that you could have high definition audio content on your mobile device. Um, you could be streaming that out to your, your networked audio player, but you could also be taking that out of your headphone jack um, and actually playing that back through, through power speakers. And that's what we've actually got showing you. So you can actually see down here, this is a 192K, uh, and then playing back as a flak, and it's actually uh, 51, 30 kilobits per second. And if we go around to the DAC here, You can actually see it's receiving a 192K signal. And then we're bringing that back out as a digital signal. And we're playing that back through a 5110, coming out as an analog signal, back into these speakers. So we're rendering that 192K. Great, and this says pump up the music a bit so I can hear. This device here um, is an iRiver, uh, the new brand from iRiver, which is the premium brand. Yeah, Estelle and Kern, yeah. And this has um, the same DAC that's in the, the big DACs here. So that's, right. that's sort of proof that you can get it to um, a small size. But am I right in thinking that you're the first mobile class chip that can play 192 kilohertz? That, that's correct. We've actually, we were really pleased that Estelle and Kern came out, they took in two 8740 devices, and they actually branded with uh, with Wolfson on there. We were delighted that Stell and Kern did that. Um, so really, this 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 particular product showed that you could take high definition audio, better than CD quality, and put that into a portable type device. But you can see it's 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 quite a large, chunky, really beautiful design. But there's quite a large battery in that because of the power consumption. We're now able to take the same class of digital filters and put that onto a mobile class device. Uh, and the 5110, one of the many features that it brings is this ability to play back this high definition audio 192K. Just a quick question, what would be the impact on storage and battery life? I mean, to, to store these files. To store these files, um, I, a typical audio track uh, with a full studio master would be around about 300 meg. So that's pretty, pretty large and quite a cumbersome file size. But there's also studio masters at 96K and 48K. And there, this, the track size gets down to about uh, 30 to, to 50 meg. So then it becomes a, a lot more manageable. Uh, on battery life, there's a small premium to pay in terms of battery life for the 5110, but it is a very, very small premium. It's not something you're really going to notice in typical music playback type of uh, uh, scenarios. Thank you, Nick. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Sharif.